Now we're gonna make a fold and twist bow with a floral loop. Okay, we'll show you how it's done. First thing I'm gonna do, like always, is take my Bodabra bow wire, I'm gonna fold it in half, whoops, and then lay that down into my Bodabra and just tuck the ends under. Now, whoops, let's tuck that under there. And now I'm gonna take my ribbon. Now this ribbon has two sides. So this is the right side. You can see how shiny it is. And that's a duller, and, and so we would call that the wrong side. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna twist it and scrunch it down. Now when you twist it, you have to have the wrong side on this. So as you make your loop, the wrong side is on the inside of the loop. Then I'm gonna twist it and scrunch that down. And, ag and again, I'm gonna make sure that the wrong side is on the inside of my loop. I'm gonna fold it back, twist, and then scrunch it down in the Bodabra. Now everybody worries if their loops are exactly right. You should try to make them as close as you can to each other. But it is a hand-tied bow, so it doesn't have to be perfect. And again, I'm just gonna fold and twist and scrunch down in there. And then we're gonna make our loop. Now, your floral loop, we're gonna make half the size of the other loops. And I'm, this time I'm not gonna twist because I'm gonna want my right side up. So I'm just gonna scrunch that down into the Bodabra. I'm gonna take my Bodabra wand and scrunch everything down. That's what saves your fingers in making the bow. Then I'm gonna take my Bodabra bow wire. I'm gonna make a, my loop, pull it through. Then I, like every other bow, we're gonna hold it tight, pull it tight while it's still in the Bodabra, separate my ends, pull it out, bring it around to the back, and I'm gonna tie it off. And I'm gonna knot it. And then I'm gonna just fluff and you have a really pretty floral bow. And here's one that I've already fluffed out. And you can see, it just makes a beautiful, beautiful bow.